So this is the last session in Module 3, Customizing Reports. In the previous session, we had to actually customize a report for Chris Baker, and we'd like to be able to pull that report whenever Chris Baker calls. So let's talk about memorizing it. Now, first of all, if you had a report memorized, here's how you would have to get to that report. If you look at reports on your menu, you will see a Memorize Report option. These are different categories that you can put a memorized report in. So if you had one of yours in this category, probably customers in this case, that's where you'd want to look for it. So let's go back to the report and actually memorize it, and we'll put it in that customer category. You'll notice at the top of your report it says Memorize, and it automatically brings in the name that you have at the top of your report. And of course you can change that to anything you like, but we'll leave Chris Baker in this case. We also have a choice to save it in a Memorize Report group. Those are those groups I mentioned to you just a second ago under Reports on the menu. We're going to put this one in Customers. New in QuickBooks 2012, you can also share this report template with others. Again, QuickBooks will not share your data, only the structure of this particular report template you've created. Let's click OK and let's see if this works. Now let's close Chris Baker's report. Right now, if I went back to Reports, and I opened Customers and Receivables, and I opened Customer Balance Detail, this report is going to show me again all of the customers. We had modified it a few moments ago to reflect just Chris Baker. So let's go out of this and let's look at just that report. I'm going to Reports on the menu, Memorize Reports, and we had saved it under the Customers category. And there's Chris Baker. All I have to do is click on it and it'll pull it right up. So you can see it's very handy to have memorized reports whenever you need them. Now let's take this a step further. In a later module we're going to talk about creating icons for your icon bar. You noticed when we had to open Chris Baker's report it was a series of four or five different mouse clicks. If we had an icon we could just click on it and there would be Chris Baker's report. So join us in a later module where we actually do that. Thank <laughs> you.